My, 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 I am having a busy day today. Uh, uh, one is a gift. So far, it looks like this one is also something I ordered. Uh, shall we find out? You know, last couple of weeks, I haven't been spending as much time on my favorite uh, all of my favorite sites because so much has been going on here at the house and i have a feeling that's probably a story i should tell uh right after i do this or maybe i'll connect them but anyway let's see what the heck is in here it's a book of course it's me of course it's going to be a book Really well too. You know you're in trouble when you cannot remember the books you've ordered. Oh my! Today must be my day for Venus and Furs. Uh, the previous unboxing was the 1947 Sylvan of Venus and Furs. This is another copy. Oh, oh my. Uh, let me see if I can start this. I have spoken previously about Venus and Furs and the fact that long before there was a, there were even the concepts of copyrights. Uh, you know, once a book was published, once it kind of went out of fashion with the publisher and the writer wasn't getting that many more royalties off of it, it was kind of a free for all for other publishing houses and other publishing companies who would then contact the writer and, you know, make whatever deal they could. But this, if the illustrations are intact, then please let them be. This is the Rheingold edition of Venus in Furs. Now, that doesn't say much yet, but the reason I bought this, and the library has one other edition of this, and please don't let me cry over this. This book was illustrated by a very well-known author who rarely did book illustrations and not one is here. Blast it. Not one illustration is here. Uh, this looks like a case where the illustrations have been cut out of the book. Uh, the Rheingold edition was uh, illustrated in a very art deco style, this particular book. And unfortunately, this is a case where the illustrations that should be here have been removed, probably by someone who understood the value of the illustration and cut them out. And of course, I bought this on eBay, so I'm sure the seller had no idea. I was hoping to show you what this looked like with its illustrations intact. The library does have another copy of it. And uh, at some point, I'll pull that up. And of course, this is an excellent example, let me do it this way, of uh, one book that might have been published by three, four, five, even six different publishing houses over the years. So, some of them are winners because it's always good to have extra copies, especially of rare editions. But in this case, uh, the illustrations aren't there, which cuts down on the value of the book. But at least we have another copy. And if you'd like to see this and compare it to the Rheingold edition with the illustrations intact, well, for that, I'll see you in the library.